In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus aluminum chloride. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see I have three sodiums here and just one here. So I'll put a three in front of the NaCl. That gives me three sodiums, three chlorines. I have three chlorines here, one aluminum, and then I have a phosphate and a phosphate. So that's it. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, phosphates are often insoluble, but sodium compounds, they're almost always soluble. So we know that this is going to dissolve, split apart into its ions. So we write AQ for aqueous. Chlorides, very soluble. We have another chloride and a sodium, so that's going to be soluble. And here's a phosphate bonded to aluminum. So this PO4, this phosphate ion, in general, they are insoluble. So this is actually an insoluble compound. When these two substances react, it'll form a solid. And that solid, it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have this precipitate forming from these two aqueous solutions. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And this will give us the complete ionic equation. On the periodic table, sodium has a 1 plus ionic charge. And the phosphate, the whole thing, is 3 minus. Good one to know. So we have three sodium ions, and I won't write the states right now. Let's write that at the end. I have the phosphate ion here, that PO4, three minus. And then over here, aluminum, that's three plus. It's in group 13, sometimes called 3A. And the chloride, that's one minus. So we have our aluminum ion, that's an Al, three plus. And then we have three of these chloride ions. So three Cl minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have the plus and the minus here. So three sodium ions and three chloride ions, just like the reactants. Plus, in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So the aluminum phosphate, that's just going to stay AlPO4. So this is what we call the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, I see I have three sodium ions. In the products here, I also have three sodium ions. So these are spectator ions. We're going to cross them out. Here's three chloride ions in the reactants and in the products. So those are spectator ions. Again, cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus AlCl3. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus AlCl3. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion put first. It doesn't really matter that much. It looks a little bit nicer. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have three plus, three minus. That gives us a net charge of zero for the reactants. In the products, this is neutral, net charge of zero. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for sodium phosphate plus aluminum chloride. Thanks for watching.